to see some changes in the defenses a little bit, particularly on the part of the ball. Tell you, Mr. Scruggs. Reed lost it. Najee Marshall all over the place again. That incredible wingspan of his. Blewett sets up for three. Well, it really helps to have a guy that can defend the wing like Najee Marshall. And uh, one of the seniors, Joe Handel, is coming to the game because of that foul difficulty to Marich and Struis. Nice move again by Scruggs. As they, they're hard to scout because they're so versatile. Yeah, I mean, Elite Eight last year, and this is a better team. Absolutely. It's an 11 seed that made the Elite Eight. As you see, Kane knocking down another tray. And with Ford, they're moving the ball around a little bit and giving other guys opportunities. Roberts almost had the pilfer. Now they have it. And sneaking out is Cyrus. Open! And McCallum knocks it home. 25-21. You know, an arduous task for them with their conference tournament a week ahead of everyone else. There is a slam off a beautiful pass from Scruggs. It's Marge inside with a mismatch against Blewett, and he lost it on the way up. Boy, they fouled. Wow. And there's McCure on the other end. You think that was a foul on the other end? No, no, no. Good help there by Kane to try to take the pressure off Marge in guarding Cam. Yeah, Blewett's shot is really off. He follows it, though, stays with it. And Marge hits the deck. It's almost as if... You're right, it's gotten into his head. Marich, Cyrus, and Struess, the five on the floor for DePaul. Now there's Marich with the kind of move you'd like to see. Absolutely. And that's the kind of usage that you want to get it inside. Speaking of fumble fingers. <laughs> that pass took a long time to get to Blewett, but it doesn't take long for him to launch the shot. That, their way to Dayton for the Opening round on Tuesday nights. There's Blewett again right over Struess. Look out at Xavier that allows the ball to stay in this. Struess, a step back three. An 8 2 run for DePaul. Gooden gave up that shot. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. But Trayvon is game on. But there is somebody who does oh, want to shoot. Oh, oh, oh. Cantor is trapped. Nice move out of the timeout defensively by DePaul. Struess all the way with a finger roll. And yeah, good decision by Struess on the drive. To Cyrus, he's been hot. Off the heel this time. Marge comes away with the offensive rebound and gets it back. Nice play by the big fella. What has been a very frustrating afternoon, but trying to stay on the floor with four right here. Great pass. Great pass for the easy one there. That's what they do so well. Pat, well, this is their opportunity. Get over the hump if they can cut it to four or three. Yes, and one. Eli Kane. Nice Great cut run. by Makura. And a fantastic dish. Mom's Sunday best from O'Mara. This has been outstanding. Kane, you know, is a willing shooter. Here he is from downtown. Off the front rim. They have time. Struess for three. No. The Xavier Musketeers are the outright Big East champions for the very first time. You know, to go 18 games and through the gauntlet and be the team with the best record. Uh, won't give us any sugar when we head to the Big East Tournament at MSG. But I'm really proud of this group, our, our seniors. You know, they've been through the wars, and for them to be uh, standing here as Big East regular season champs, uh, I'm, I'm really happy for those guys. Fellas, fellas. <laughs> yeah, easy, bro, easy, bro. <laughs>